morning, Binaydan. Uh, I want to check in. Giriş yapmak istiyorum, kayıt yaptırmak istiyorum, whatever. All right. And the dialogues are well defined. So I studied maths in university, ladies and gentlemen, to, to your shocking response. And in maths, we have two types of problems: a well-defined problem and and not well-defined problem. So if you de define your problem well, limit your you know context. The output, the result is usually one thing, like two plus two is four. In where? In Euclid space. Two plus two may not be four in cyberspace. Okay, too technical, too mathematical. <laughs> but if you can confine your translation bot, your robot, to a certain context, like hotel check-in, ordering in a cafe, all right? Or, for example, Turkish Garanti Bank. You call them, there is a virtual assistant, right? Lütfen ne istediğinizi söyler misiniz? Somebody is talking to you. You can do it. But to do that, ladies and gentlemen, you don't only need machine translation, you also need speech training. So you may need maybe um, 100 Turk Turks reading the same phrases because this is going to be a speech bot, right? So, it, so a Turk from Istanbul says Merhaba a Turk from Izmir says Merhaba uh, and somebody might say Selamun Aleyküm so there might be different dialects and ways of expressing yourself if you have all them, all of them, I, I think it's just maybe 100 phrases and make several hundred people read it, or dozens of people read it, and your bot will become functional. This is a very good business case. Make it for one hotel, and then you can send it to other hotels. But the next hotel will have a different way of addressing their customer, no problem. But this is a very good business. You can make chatbots for municipalities, customs, hotels, restaurants, and, and businesses. I hope you do it, and I hope this is your take-home message, because your fathers and my fathers and grandfathers waited others to define their future. They take everything given. And I want to encourage at least one person in this room, I will be very happy and I would feel myself fulfilled. Define your own future, the future is yours, just, just, go, just go take it. You can build the next best engine. You can start making chatbots or other bots. You can do it. It's not rocket science. It's just there waiting for you to learn it. And learning a chatbot is probably easier than learning basketball. Probably. I tell you. And it is it takes less effort to build a chatbot than building a six-pack. I assure you. <laughs> Definitely. Less effort. I mean, if you are mentally capable. And I, I believe you are. I mean, this is not rocket science. And the last but not the least humanitarian purposes. Ladies and gentlemen, everything I talk until now was for commercial purposes. But then there are humanitarian purposes. There are 100 languages spoken in Tanzania. I mean, if you are if you are not as lucky as Freddie Mercury, whose parents were Tanzanian and Punjabi or Gujarati, I guess, and he should have spoken Swahili to a certain extent, which is the main language in Tanzania, and maybe Gujarati or Punjabi because he was educated in India, he lived there. If you are not one of those lucky fellows, Say you are in Istanbul. There are so many people who speak Swahili in Istanbul. Tens of thousands of them. Living in Aksaray. <laughs> Those areas, they are waiting for the next ship to hide and sneak into Italy. One of my friends, he was a translator and journalist, he sneaked into them and he traveled with them. <laughs> you know, some people are crazy. So. Uh, 
and say there's a Swahili lady or Rohingya. All right? They're in terrible situation right now. Yoruba, Amharic, Amharic, Ethiopia. All right? Um, so a woman comes to the hospital, all right, and says, I'm pregnant. Okay. She just says, I'm pregnant. Nobody understands. Or she, or she says, I'm raped. Or I am hijacked. My husband is beating me. What are you going to do? You know what happens? There are proofs uh, in videotapes from Denmark that immigrants are using their kids to translate. Okay? And the kids are afraid of their father or their uncle and they don't tell the truth. The woman is telling, I'm beaten, I'm raped, I'm da 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 But the kid doesn't translate any one of them. But I mean, if we just had one simple vocabulary, or even not an engine, I mean, a screen, says those, you know, stop words, like beaten, pregnant, and she just presses on it. In US, in some prisons, they are using the screen. The inmates, the convicts, they go to the screen and they choose medicine. In their own language, it's not AI. It's just a smart interface. Tick, tick, tick. And then what happens? The algorithm connects them to a, to a remote interpreter and helps the, husp the prison guards to talk to the person based on his chosen needs. So there are so many things we can do for these deprived nations of the world. I mean, immigration is a reality. It's a fact. There are millions of Syrians on our streets. And not all of them are native Syrians. Like there is a Swedish company, they have a test protocol who tests if your language is native or not. Because Al-Qaeda terrorists are infiltrating to Turkey and Europe in disguise of a Syrian Arab. But they are not. But they speak very well Arabic. But there is now very nice AI tools to detect if you are a native speaker of Arabic or not. So AI takes to a whole new level. I mean, it's not just you know, translating one sentence or two sentences. I'm tr are, you, are you... Do you realize that I am talking about a new economy? Yes, maybe you are, you are going to lose 20% of your translation. Yes, probably. Or maybe you won't lose it, but you will, you will become a post-editor. You will review what the machine is doing. But there's a whole new space, a huge, endless ocean of new language jobs. New language jobs are waiting bilingual or trilingual people like you. Just develop more computer skills, and I appreciate Senam Hoja's efforts in combining computer sciences with language. I'm happy it's happening in this university, and I'm, I'm sure others will follow, and hopefully the future will be a better place, because it's not all about money. Thank you. We would like to invite Professor Yudray Chevik to present Mr. Özal in his class. Now, 
we proceed to our next speaker, Assistant Professor Ferdi Sönmez. Before we invite our second speaker, we would like to inform you about his background. Dr. Ferdi Sönmez has received his PhD degree from Marmara University, an MA and BA degree from Boğaziçi University. He is currently the chair of Computer Engineering Department at Aral University. Dr. Sonna's research areas include the following. Machine learning, big data, scalable data analysis, and query processing, data storage and physical design, secure data processing, relational database management system, and IMDB security. Having two years industrial experience as a project manager for the Turkey region of an international ICT consulting company, Dr. Sönmez also worked on three international and couple of national R&D projects. He has supervised several graduate students in their MA studies. He also co-supervised them at PhD level. Our dear professor, Mr. Sönmez, the floor is yours. was actually why do translators need software requirement analysis, but actually quality is also important for anything, but also uh, software. So software requirements and quality, why important? First, let me define a requirement term first, uh, because it's so important. You would think it's perfectly an ordinary word but it is not as ordinary as it seems. So in Lyman's terms, a requirement is directly what is needed to be implemented and what we expect to get. The work with the requirements involves various processes, identification, analysis, verification, and finally, management. Requirements analysis is one of the principal stages in software cycle. So here we are talking about machine translation and software. Traditionally, it takes place early on prior to software design and implementation. However, requirement analysis is frequently an iterative process during development or it can take place after implementation of a prototype or even when no development is in prospect. For example, when evaluating a product, I, I am sure today uh, the specialist, the uh, people talked about lots of products here. Uh, let's talk about types of requirements from the perspective of software engineering or software science or computer science, what you say. For working efficiently with the requirements, you have to differentiate between the various types of requirements. Let's have a closer look at some of them. First of all, non-functional requirements, which are requirements like the quality attributes, some certain design and realization constraints or external interface that directly relate to the product. What are the requirements? Business requirements, business statements like goals, objectives, needs, which should help the organization to maximize the profit. When we are talking about billions of dollars, yes, it's important. I see. 
today. Minimize expenditures, rise services, and so on. User requirements are the requirements that should include the goals and objectives which should the system or which the system will allow the users to achieve. Here the users are anyone and translators too. Software requirements stand for high profile requirements for the product under development that contain numerous substances. Actually, here the system stands for software and software systems, but in the future, maybe we will talk about the machines other than software only. Other requirement types, functional requirements, are the product features or its function that must be designed directly for users and their convenience. They design the functionality of the software, which the software engineers have to develop so that the users could easily perform their tasks. So, till now I didn't talk about why the requirements are important, but I wish today we will reach this answer together. Here I will share uh, a couple of situations which will help you to understand the importance of the high quality requirements. First of it should be mentioned that I want a Facebook or LinkedIn like Messenger or I like a chatbot. It's hardly an appropriate requirement to put in mind or mildly. In the beginning of the work, you would better sort of the terms and the roles in the first place. It seems awfully obvious and redundant at first sight. However, the stakeholders, the translators,